It's called the Gateway to Maputo Land, a unique game reserve on 17,000 hectares of private land. The pride of Natal providing the latest in ecotourism, it boasts more than a thousand wild animals. beauty around for all tastes, Findra Park was set up two years ago, and already it's proved that conservation can be very cost-effective for its enterprising owners and fascinating for its visitors. The area was formerly five private farms, the land heading for an uneconomic future. Now, the hope is that global environmental awareness will make ecotourism a major factor in the new South Africa's economy. And enjoying their role in that plan are animals newly introduced to the area, or in the case of the lions who seem totally unimpressed, reintroduced after 150 years. Actually, these deadly predators were only allowed back into the province okay, under very strict the permit conditions and protective supervision. Um, that goes on the end of the dart with the drug inside. Yeah, so that dart is now ready to be shot into the animal. In order to get them used to their new environment where they'll hunt and kill, they had to be tagged for monitoring. Tranquilizer took effect, the lions enjoyed their last meal on the hoof, so to speak, before they had their darts removed for them and they were taken off to be prepared for permanent identification. This is where the most primal of beasts was introduced to the world of high technology. But its interest was only perfunctory. What I'm doing is the, um, the trovan identification. It's a little implant that we're injecting into the animal. Um, it's a little magnetic transponder um, that is in that needle. And then we read a number off it. <laughs> Another little ID operation that it would certainly remember when it came around. The not too gentle art of tattooing the gun. And so by, the, by this collar we can Finally, we're able to track the, the animal so we can Another find where it goes. Uh, we can make sure it stays in the reserve and settles down. Free. So, oh, that wasn't yet. What you're doing is you're putting hydrogen peroxide into the... The animals were then transported to another part of the reserve, the main part. Until that stage, they'd been allowed to acclimatize themselves slowly in a smaller enclosure. Now came the last bit of coddling they got before they were released amongst all the other animals and had to learn how to behave in the wild and earn their living as principal performers for the thousands of tourists who hope to see them. Safely deposited in their new home, the kings of the jungle looked a little less than majestic as they came round from the drugs. Before very long though, the monitoring process began to discover what prey the cheetahs and lions would kill and to make sure it wasn't the people who were paid to see the animals do the killing.
so the guidebooks may say that it's 150 years since lions were last here, but to this particular group, it could have been just yesterday.